Hello everyone, my name is Grainix and today we will focus on Homeworld 3. Homeworld 3 will be a sequel to Homeworld 2, meaning that Homeworld 3 will take place after the Hayagara has opened the hyperspace gates and defeated the Wager. Homeworld was born in Vancouver, Canada in 1999. It was the first real 3D space real-time strategy. Homeworld was created by Alex Garden and Luke Mullaney, served as the director and lead programmer for the game, while Erin Daly was the designer and Aaron Cambetz the lead artist. Uh, soon they were joined by Rob Cunningham as the co-founders of Relic Entertainment. In 2022, the cult 3D space real-time strategy will return as Homeworld 3. Recon team, stand by for gate sequence initiation. Copy that. Homeworld details the return of the Kushan, people exiled from their homeworld and banished to an inhospitable desert world known as Karen. With the discovery of an ancient artifact, the Kushan discovered their heritage and embarked on a mission to reclaim what they had lost. The ensuing journey home forces the Kushan to confront many perils, face the truth of their mysterious exile, and finally challenge the powerful empire in the ultimate battle for the jewel of the galaxy, Hyagara. In Homeworld 2, Hyagara faces a new adversary as nomadic space riders, the Vagar, who threaten the planet's defenses. The search for a way to defeat the Vagar leads to the discovery of the third great hyperspace core, the awakening of the most destructive weapon in the galaxy, and the realization of the true destiny of the Kushan people. Homeworld 3 follows the events of Homeworld 2. The hyperspace gates have opened, and with them, a new era of space travel has begun. The rest is yet to come. Commit systems and In this first update from art director Carl Grieg, we focus on ballistics. During the pre-production stage, Homeworld 3 is being storyboarded with visual design and narrative structure in development. In the Fi community website, Coral Greek reveals the details of Homeworld 3. Internally, we spent a lot of time looking back at the four previous Homeworld games, analyzing which elements we think work best in each of the games, and how we want to utilize and adapt those features to create the best Homeworld 3 we can, says Coral Greek. One area where we have seen the community feedback strongly mirrors our own thinking is the debate about the weapon systems in Homeworld 1 versus those in Homeworld 2. Homeworld 1 used a ballistic weapon system where weapons would fire at their target and could miss or be blocked as the attack played out in real time. In Homeworld 2, the system was changed so that weapons fire was deterministic based on math rather than physics. Within the community, there is a strong and unified voice that the ballistic systems of Homeworld 1 are better, and we agree. It is our goal to have ballistics be the primary method of ship to ship combat in Homeworld 3. Ships will fire at hostile vessels, and even if another ship blocks line of sight of the target, the weapon will keep on firing. Units will be able to block incoming fire for other ships, either sacrificing themselves to save a more valuable unit or to utilize their heavier armor or higher health pool to protect weaker, more vulnerable ships. As we are going through pre-production, the art team is thinking about how to bring more visceral combat into Homeworld 3. In Homeworld Remastered, we got a glimpse of ship scarring, weapon hits against your mothership will leave behind charm details. So the art team took the battle cruiser from Homeworld 2, slightly reskinned for fun and started to work towards a pre-visualization. Getting shelled by small weapons will leave behind pop marks of displaced metal. While larger weapons or critical hits will buckle the hull and eventually break open, revealing its guts. While 
a lot of decisions on how we will implement ballistics from a technical standpoint are yet to be made, we wanted to share our decision with you and to thank all of you, says Art Director. And we have reached the end of the video and I really hope that you enjoyed this video and learned some new stuff from it. And if you really enjoyed this video then please make sure to press the like button and subscribe to the channel so that you could see more content like this. And we will meet again in the next update. Here was I, Rainix, and I voiced this rubric. Goodbye everyone.